Scooby-Doo's first television appearance in Scooby-Doo Where Are You is not only one of the most beloved animated shows of all time, but it's also a show I feel everyone can appreciate and enjoy for its hilariously outdated jokes and animation style which isn't without its errors. There's never any real monster in the show, it's always some criminal in a Halloween costume trying to either steal something or exploit something. Anyway, I thought it'd be more fun to explain the plan of every criminal in every episode of the original show, and I'd probably brace yourself here because it's probably going to get really dumb to say the least, and most things just simply either don't make sense or just wouldn't happen in any capacity whatsoever. But this is Scooby-Doo, so if you're expecting an Oscar-worthy plot, then... A museum curator, part of a smuggling ring, comes up with a totally believable story about a suit of armour coming alive every full moon in order to distract people from the fact that he's secretly stealing paintings and then somehow managing to repaint every stolen painting to the exact same standard without anyone in the museum noticing. A captain fakes his own death and dresses up as the ghost of himself so he and his wife can steal broken yachts, pimp them up and sell them for profit. A magician dresses up in a bedsheet to scare people away from an island so he can attempt to find treasure. Later it's revealed that he uses a mirror and a projector to make himself appear anywhere on the island at any given time, even though it would be physically impossible for a projector to project any image through a wall. And by stepping away from the mirror, it appears that I walk through walls. <laughs> Good one. A worker at a deserted inn scares people away from a deserted gold mine on an oil reserve in order to buy the land for cheap and exploit it. He does this by dressing up as an old man with a beard known as, and I quote, the Miner 49er. The owner of a prized poodle kidnaps his own dog, dresses up as a witch doctor and dognaps every other dog in the competition with the intention of then releasing his own dog in order to win the competition. A greedy relative disguises himself as a dead relative and haunts his family so he can take the inheritance for himself. A stuntman terrorises a film set dressed as a gorilla because he's upset about not getting cast as the lead role. The wife of a caretaker at an amusement park takes control of her husband's robot to terrorise the park and her only excuse for doing this is because, and I quote, I don't think robots should work where children come to have fun. Oh, what, so instead of getting rid of the thing, you decide to make it go on a fucking rampage? A theatre company's doorman dresses up as a phantom to scare people away from the theatre because he doesn't want his totally secret counterfeit operation being discovered. A former hypnotist, who was fired from the local circus for stealing, gets revenge by dressing up as a clown and haunting the circus. A wanted criminal in search of treasure disguises himself as a female gypsy in order to scare people away. A doctor dresses up as a mummy and breaks into the Department of Archaeology in order to steal an ancient coin. Two thieves in disguise as a witch and a zombie try to scare people away from a swamp so they can search for an armoured truck full of money, which they sunk there years ago so nobody would be able to find it, including themselves. The owner of some cargo ships dresses up as a pirate and raids his own ships to sell the cargo for money. Some guy dresses up as an alien and tries to scare people away from some land near an airfield which he's trying to exploit. Two thugs dress up as green ghosts to scare the heirs of a mansion owner's will so they can take the money for themselves. Scooby-Doo also becomes a millionaire before realising the money's confederate. Two men hide some jewels in hollowed out logs at a ski resort. One of the men tries to scare people away by, get this, dressing up as a yeti who can defy the laws of gravity and fly into the air because he's wearing transparent plastic skis. What, so that means he's able to literally fly into the air like some kind of ghost? Also, why don't they leave any tracks in the snow? And I'm sure I recognise one of the crooks in this episode from somewhere else, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Dr. Jekyll, a descendant of THE Dr. Jekyll, dresses up as the ghost of his great-great-grandfather's monstrous persona, Mr. Hyde and becomes a jewel thief. An art dealer and leader of an international smuggling ring dresses up as the ghost of an ancient oriental warlord to scare people away from a temple he's using as the base for a smuggling operations. <laughs> the president of a bank disguises himself as a zombie and robs his own bank. Okay, stay with me on this one. After a two million year old caveman frozen inside a block of ice gets lost at sea, a professor creates a substitute by freezing a dummy caveman in a block of ice and dropping it into the sea, knowing it will somehow drift towards an ocean research facility which he works at. Once there, 
He melts the ice and dresses up in a caveman costume to scare away another professor so he can steal his invention which allows people to communicate with marine life. Some old pensioner hides his head inside his jacket to give the impression that he's headless. He does this to scare away people from an abandoned house belonging to one of his ancestors to give him enough time to search the house for treasure. Meanwhile, his neighbour enters the house wearing a bedsheet and a local reporter dresses up as a witch doctor and engineers a hoax to scare villagers away so they don't discover his pearl poaching operation. A sheep rustler smuggles stolen sheep inside barrels and floats them down the river to sell them on the black market. He also dresses up as a werewolf or green skin. A TV station manager disguises himself as a phantom to steal money from the station so he can emigrate to South America. Season 3 is where it gets pretty confusing. Technically, 16 episodes were made in 1978, but only the first 9 were considered to be part of Season 3 of Scooby-Doo Where Are You? After the revival series of the show was cancelled, the remaining 7 episodes were broadcasted on Scooby-Doo All-Stars, a Saturday morning show which featured on ABC. Afterwards, all 16 episodes were syndicated as part of the Scooby-Doo show that ran from 1976 to 1978, and overall consisted of 40 episodes. This probably explains why the Region 2 DVD set doesn't include Season 3. Confusing for anyone wanting to watch any of the episodes in chronological order, but having explained every villain plot for the first two seasons, I'm sure at this point everything seems like a case of which which is which, or rather which which is which. Anyway, here's the remaining nine episodes, which technically make up season three. Some Native Americans dress up as human owls to scare people off so they can smuggle stolen items into North America. The head of a weather base and his two henchmen disguise themselves as one-eyed skeletons for no reason and use the legend of the Bermuda Triangle to capture planes in order to sell them overseas for profit. The assistant to a professor working in the North Pole creates a giant dinosaur robot to scare away Eskimos from an oil pool so he can smuggle oil out of the area using a submarine. A woman dresses up as a witch to scare a twin sister out of her house to claim her inheritance. Some, some guy covers himself in tar in order to swim through tar to steal treasure. Okay, stay with me. Some guy dresses up as the ghost of a dead bagpipe playing Scotsman in order to scare away people from a tourist attraction where he's secretly conducting a smuggling operation. He imports expensive wristwatches from Switzerland via a submarine disguised as a Loch Ness monster, which he somehow manages to control by playing the bagpipes. A restaurant owner helps prisoners escape an island prison in exchange for money. Some guy claiming to be making a movie about an Amazonian tribe dresses up as a panther ape hybrid thing in order to scare away the natives so he can mine for diamonds. A medical doctor dresses up as a cat and robs jewellery stores. And that's it. Every villain plot from the first three seasons of Scooby-Doo Where Are You? Hope you enjoyed this new style of video. I'm probably going to be needing about 16 cups of coffee after this. So... By the way, I'm in it, so I have to like Yeah, you, well, right? you have to like your own work. Uh, 